The first night in Auschwitz, I was shocked to see dead children on the latrine floor, and I made a silent pledge that I would do everything within my power to make sure that Miriam and I survived and walked out of this camp alive. In Auschwitz, in our barracks, we were little girls, twins, between the ages of two and 16. We were huddling in our filthy bunk beds, crawling with lice and rats. We were starved for food, starved for human kindness, and starved for the love of the mothers and fathers we once had. We had no rights, but we had a fierce determination to live one more day, survive one more experiment. I was used six days a week in experiments. After one of those injections that I was given, I became very ill. I had a very high fever. My arms and legs were swollen and painful, and I was covered with red spots. Next visit to the blood lab, they measured my fever, and I was sent to the hospital. Mengele never examined me, but looked at my fever chart and then said, too bad, she's so young, she has only two weeks to live. I refused to die, and I made a second silent pledge that I would do whatever is within my power to prove Mengele wrong, to survive and be reunited with my sister. For the following two weeks, all I have is one clear memory. I was crawling on the barrack floor because I no longer could walk, and I was crawling to reach a faucet with water at the other end of the barrack. And as I was crawling, I kept fading in and out of consciousness, and even in a semi-conscious state of mind, I kept telling myself, I must survive. I must survive. And I did. 